Hello, um, in this lesson we are going to uh, work on the notifications. Um, so far we have done the create side of it and um, in this uh, lesson we are going to work on uh, the remaining section. All right, so if we go into the index for our notifications controller, uh, we want to have uh, two instance variables here. So the first is the visitors notification. So we'll go to the notification uh, model, we we'll say find um, notifications where the notifi a notifiable type um, is the visitor uh, model. Okay, and then we can go ahead and order this in, um, in a descending order. All right, so copy this over and we're going to change this. So the second instance variable is going to be for comment notifications. So we just change it here, so we have comment. All right, so now we have some data for our view to work with. So here, remember, we have notifiable type, uh, which is always um, visitor or comment. So now in our view, we want to um, iterate over um, those instance variables, all right, and then uh, display them to the view. So we are going to start with our visitor uh, notifications. So we're going to loop over this. And then we are going to refer to the instance as a notif. Okay, so this can be anything that you want it to be. And here we go. And in here, we are going to have a paragraph. And the paragraph we have, I will print out some information uh, for this visitor. So we say notif dot uh, notificate uh, notifiable, and then we get the we get a full name. Okay, so this is where we get the full name of the uh, notifiable for a visitor. So this is because if I come over here, uh, refresh, we can see we have all the lists. All right, so notifiable in this case is because the visitor um, is what we're looking for. All right, so um, I'm going to extend this a bit so we can add a bit more information into our string. So now we can say uh, the full name and then we'll have additional text added, so um, um, added as a new visitor. And then we could say, give it um, the date it was added here. So we have our notif, um, yield it back to us. So we could say notif.created underscore at. All right, so now we can go back to our view and have a look. All right, so as usual, we have, uh, we have created a helper. Um, which we called time ago. So we could say time ago here, and this will give us a clean look. So now a new vista of, and the time it was um, created. All right, so the second information we want to show is a link. So we want to be able to uh, dismiss uh, a notification. All right, so and then we want to target uh, the mod the the path so in this case would be notification underscore path so singular and we have to have admin underscore so we have the namespace and as usual with um, our delete we have to have a, a method uh, to make sure we're mapping to the delete method and then you can also have the, you have the options of having a, a data a confirm so we can uh, make sure the user know what they're doing so are you sure or you could put something a bit more useful. All right, so down here, we have a bit of a problem. We're missing the uh, ID. So every time you want to uh, delete uh, a person or an object, you have to specify that object here. So we say notive and that matches up with this. So now we have our dismiss link and it works. All right, so this is um, everything we need for visitor. We can copy this, and then I'm going to put a horizontal rule here, and we can paste visitor um, notification and just change things over to uh, comment notifications. All right, so this is our comments notifications, and the use here is okay to have the same notif um, yielded back, and here we can uh, have a look um, at our table, so. So in this case, we have um, comments has many notifications and visitor has many uh, comments. So uh, potentially we can, we can target anything we want. So, if, so we could go and get uh, the message, for example. So here I say notifiable, which is comments, and then we 
go and get the message for that particular uh, comment. And of course, we could change this here so it's um, more relevant to a message. So because it was added and time uh, time ago can remain the same. So again, uh, the link to dismiss is um, the same. Uh, so if we refresh, we have uh, a long message there and dismiss. All right, so it looks like it's reading uh, from the database. Um, but we might uh, want to just show uh, the visitor, all right, just the visitor who um, left um, a comment um, there. So we still have access uh, to a visitor um, from here. So a comment um, belongs to a visitor. So again, to navigate, we can um, very easily come over here, say so go back up into a Vista model, and then from Vista model, we have access to the full name. All right, so now um, refresh, everything looks fine. A Vista was um, added, um, so we can just change this. So Vista added a comment, and then we can have it time ago. So now that makes a lot more sense and is a lot um, readable. All right, so we have um, the delete or destroy uh, to work on next. Okay, so uh, with destroy, we want to have an instance variable. We read something from the DB and we save it in here. So notification sends over um, params ID, so we can have params ID in here. And then we can go ahead and uh, destroy uh, the params. And then we can redirect the user um, to back to where they were before clicking on, on dismiss and with a, a notice. All right, so um, this will conclude um, our destroy method. So not a notification was deleted successfully. All right, so now when I uh, click on dismiss, we have a message. And when I click on OK, uh, that particular um, vista was removed from notification. So this is just uh, removing uh, things that we have in notifications. It's not deleting the actual visitor or comment. All right, so now this is done, listing, um, listing comments. And here we have a dismissed notification, um, you know, by deleting them is also, is also done. So listing notification is done and deleting is done. And also here we have um, uh, the delete method as well as the flash message are both done. All right, so we have one more method left to do. We have the dismiss all. So we want to get rid of um, all the notifications we have for both our Vista. So there's a, a match um, verb that we can use for our roots. So we can uh, go into our roots, so uh, command P and roots. So down here, um, we can add our own um, uh, custom um, root. So I can say, create a new root for me called uh, dismiss or notifications. All right, and I want um, to map this. So there's a way of mapping it to a controller and a method in a controller. So map this to my admin uh, notifications uh, controller. And there's a method, so hashtag uh, delete underscore all. So I'm going to create this. And I want you to do that using the verb uh, delete. So it knows we are going to be deleting something. All right, so that's, that's, how, that's how this works. So now we can uh, copy this delete all or just, um, and then come over here and say define, and we can create a uh, delete, uh, delete all. You can also paste it if, um, if you copied it um, and so on. All right, so if we end um, this here, so within our delete all, we can say notification and then dot delete all. So this is our Rails method that we are using in line 15 to delete all records. And once we've deleted, we want to go ahead and redirect uh, the user back to the page they were on before they clicked on delete all. Now this will um, go ahead and delete all the records for in our notifications for both um, the comment and the visitor. So. Um, all done in one one place. All right, so we want a way of, of clicking on that delete all. So here I'm going to uh, say um, 
ask a question. So if notification dot any, so we're checking if a notification exists. And by the way, we could write this in one line, but um, it's a bit more easier to read in the beginning this way. So check if we have any notification and then uh, create a link to dismiss all. Okay, so there's no need dismissing if you have nothing to dismiss. So here we have this uh, dismiss all notifications. So I want to have a look and show you how the routes are generated for that particular route that we've made. So uh, the bottom left corner here, we have uh, dismiss all notifications. So that's the, the path. So if you go ahead and copy that and paste it here and put underscore path. So when we click on dismiss all, it's going to link us to that. And we can also say method is delete. All right, so if we uh, go into the view, uh, refresh the page, we should now have uh, dismiss all there. And when we click on that, it will delete everything and dismiss all link is also taken away because there's no notifications in our database. All right, so that is um, the notifications done. All right, so in the next coming uh, lesson, um, we are going to look at more things. So this is what we've learned so far. Um, we are going to look at uh, dash uh, on the dashboard in the next um, lesson. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson.